Guys, I think we got one going on this inside planer. Small fish out here bright and early. Sun's not even above the trees yet. A crisp fall morning, enough for a jacket. I know it's probably gonna warm up later in the day, but a crisp fall morning down into the 50s. Not cold, but chilly. Still got some relatively warm water in the 70s, but the fish ain't gone dormant yet. Oh, it's a nice little leader fish. Boom, quick release. All right, that one did the dirty work for me. Quick release at the boat, a little piece of chicken. I'm dragging all chicken this morning, to be perfectly honest. I'm kind of out here doing a little recon just to see what's going on with the fish. Like I said, we've had some temperatures get a little bit colder and uh, just seeing what it's doing in the fish. We're gonna talk some more about that, the effect of water temperature and what it does with the fish and the catfish. Let's uh, try to get another fish on the hook first. Guys, we're getting hit on a couple of rods. This one right here, I think may have a fish on it. This one right here, the line straight back, it's been bopping like there's a small fish on it or one trying to eat that bait. I think this outside one here has got a fish on it though. Small fish. That's all right, that's all right. These channels are feeding pretty good lately. This may be a blue, it's getting a little bit more weight to it now. But uh, yeah, these fish have been feeding good here coming into the fall in these cooler temperatures. You know, our water temps are down into the 70s, not cold by any means, but they're gonna get colder with these highs getting lower and lower. When these high temperatures start, you know, staying in the 70s, well, guess what? Your water temperature's not gonna get above 70 it's gonna be around that average daily temperature so most in the 50s you're gonna start seeing some 60 degree water temperatures so that's a good thing that's a good thing fish still bite they're still there they're still active and it's good good fishing good good fishing and there's fish is acting like there's one on that one we'll see what we got here depending on where you're at in the country maybe colder it may be warmer i'm here in the southeast and uh, we're in these moderate fall temperatures Let's see what we got here see what we got there we go here we go. Oh, that's a nice blue. That's a nice blue. That's a nice blue. He's, he swallowed that hook, that's for sure. He's had some good looking fish there. How about a hook job that you do there, fella? Good looking fish there. Good looking blue. Seven, eight pounds. Good healthy fish, well fed. A little grunt and action there for the camera. Heck yeah. Good fall catfish. Let's get it back alive. Yeah, guys, you may be wondering why all chicken. Well, this time of the year, these fish are they're feeding. It's not into that late fall, early winter where the big cut baits work. Cut baits will work now. I mean, you can catch, you know, good fish on them. You can catch them on big pieces of bait too. But thank you for trying to catch numbers. You're trying to catch a lot of fish. You're trying to get bit. I go with medium to large baits. I'll put out a mix of them sometimes. Today I'm not. I'm just running chicken today. It's very effective this time of year. You get a lot of fish feeding on mussels this time of the year. And in our lakes and reservoirs in the southeast at least, there's a lot of mussels in these waterways and these fish feed on them heavily this time of the year and it's an excellent bait to go with. Uh oh, if you're a bank fisherman, you're gonna like this one. <sighs> this planter board was run right up on the bank. I wasn't paying attention after one of those last fish and kind of got over here close to the bank. Dude, this one was right off that point. You would have caught that with bank fishing for sure. Let's see what we got here. They're biting, they're biting good. Sun's not even above the trees yet. We're not catching giants, but we're catching some fish. These boards off of here, some B-Cat planter boards. Hey, uh, guys at B-Cat, B-Cat boards. Funny story, I think, Kim, you were supposed to be fishing with me today. We talked about a uh, surprise birthday present, and I had this date written down, and I didn't know how to get a hold of you and ask, Without messing up the surprise. Happy uh, birthday to the uh, old hubby there. We got a fish. Get this sucker in. Another eater. Quick release would be nice, but we're not gonna get that lucky. I mean, personally, I love the quick release at the boat. I love when they flip themselves off into the water so you don't have to deal with that flailing right up here. Nice channel cat. America's catfish. Bag alive. 
Yeah, the fall can be some really good uh, bank fishing opportunities, especially as these water temperatures start to fall. There's bait fish pulled up in all these creeks, these creek arms, these coves, baits all over the place, and man, the catfish are right behind them. I'm looking around in this little cove pocket that I'm in, and uh, there's bait up here on the surface. A lot of the really small, this year's hatch thread fin are in here, and you know, with that comes the crappie, the white bass, white perch, skipjack, everything else that feeds on those little bitty small thread fin and man you know if they're here the catfish are not going to be far behind so it's a good good time of the year all this stuff is in shallow water they're in coves and it hadn't pulled out deep so it's a great opportunity for boat fishermen but also a great opportunity for guys that are fishing from the bank fishing off a pier you know fishing from a local boat ramp or something like that you got access to guys that's a good takedown that is a good takedown right there heck yeah a good looking fish i don't make up for that last one we get into the boat anyway that's a good fish very nice fish in case you're wondering new to the channel 30 pound andy monofilament andy monster ancient mariner reel big cat fever it's a medium action rod a gomex's power handle making that reel look sexy this side of this rod i may have to land it on this side we're gonna get him guys we're gonna get him we'll need to get my net though i think but there you go and my hydro web net monster rod holder if you're catching bigger fish you need a bigger net oh he's staying down this is gonna be a nice fish guys this will be a nice fish this will be a day maker on chicken by the way everything we got out is chicken nice fish good hit good takedown <clears throat> Fall fishing at its best right here, fellas and ladies. It's a little bit wrapped. A little bit wrapped. We'll take it. Shoot in the net. Who was it that said chicken don't catch big fish? I don't know what your idea of big fish is, but I think anybody's happy with a 20 pounder. That is a good fish, guys. That is a pretty fish. Long body on that one. Looks like a river fish right there. Big long body. Look at that. Yes, sir. We'll take that all day long on chicken. Nice 20 pound blue cat. Let's get it back alive so you can catch it. There you go, guys. I don't care where you fish in the country, you'll be happy to catch that fish. And man, I'm happy to catch it here on a beautiful fall morning to be out here fishing. Again, in a creek mouth, you can see how close I am to these houses. That fish was in casting distance of the bank or a pier back in here. So you guys that are bank fishing can catch every fish that I have caught today. Yes, I have the luxury of being in a boat here and moving around and hopping around to places. That is, that is a blessing and a luxury. It shows you these fish are up close to the bank this time of the year. And, you know, water temperature wise, when you're in this 70, it's going to dip down into the 60s here in early fall. That 60, 70 degree water is fine. You will catch fish in it. You really don't have to worry about water temperatures becoming an issue until later on into the fall, early winter. Things will change coming into, you know, for us in our area late November uh, late November we start to see freezing middle to late November we start to see uh, freezing temperatures you know our lows uh, are, are dipping down into the 40s and 30s consistently high still you know 60 70 but that daily mean temperature and you can look this up on the uh, NOAA uh, weather website uh, to see what the daily mean temperature is from your area sometimes even the local TV stations will tell you you know they'll give you the uh, mean temperature for the day and uh, that's usually about what your water temperature is as long as you're in that 60 mid 60 70s you know you're gonna have some really good fishing lower 60s not so bad 50s it's gonna start to slow and change but we ain't got to worry about that right now that's a pretty good ways off for most of the country so get out there do some fishing fall's a great time to be out and uh enjoy your time out on the water oh i think we got a little fella on this one i'm gonna nurse him in i'm gonna bring him in like a walleye that is a very tender bite right there if he makes it in that's a channel catfish i'm going all in and i think he's barely hooked i feel him popping on there but man he is just oh gotta be delicate with this one we want to get into the boat. Let's, oh, we're going to pretend like we got to have this fish to win the tournament. We are four ounces from winning and we got to have this fish. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, 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 o
he is in the boat. Wouldn't it be something if you want a tournament because you caught that fish, you had to have that one fish to do it. That would be cool. Another one, fall fishing, fun to catch if you can get some eaters, you can get some good fish. Bottom line is you're gonna have a great time out here in some great weather on the water with some good fish. Man, blessed to be alive.